Who all here has played video games before? I have. I have. So, knowing that you've played video games, have any of you uh, ever been in a situation where someone has told you about all the horrible things that video games can do? Yeah? Uh, what, what have you heard about? Video games promote violence. Video games promote violence. That seems like it's a hot topic that pops up in the news all the time. And uh, it seems like whenever video games are brought into the news, it's something negative. Something negative that's being put against them about how bad it is for your kids or for your health or, you know, the list goes on and on. I'm sure that it, it'll tell us that it'll, it'll give us all horrible diseases too. <laughs> but this, the, real, the real truth is video games actually... Uh, are, are very good for you, uh, have been proven to be good for you both in your mental health, in your physical health. Uh, they're fun, they're good to de-stress on, and then on top of that, they promote a good sense of teamwork and communications. They boost your social skills. It's contradictory to what all of them have said. Well, so first off, uh, we'll start with the, the simple one. If you've ever had, a, ever had a long day, maybe at work or at school, or maybe you just had a bad day with your friends, uh, there's a lot of different things you can do to kind of pass time and, and uh, kind of de-stress from your day. Uh, you can do sports, uh, you could, I don't know, watch TV, but the thing about those is they, they both really don't, they either don't develop anything, or if they do, it's just very specific. Uh, but video games offer more than that. You see, video games are engaging. They engage your body, but they also allow you to relax at the same time. So they have the, they have the, uh, the, st the stress relief of uh, playing a sport and, and uh, using your adrenaline and stuff like that. But then they also have the relaxation attached to watching a TV, for example. In fact, there's actually even competitive esports, which are televised video games uh, with teams that make money and, and uh, that travel the world playing video games. In fact, high schools are starting to incorporate esports leagues into the, uh, into the school systems and districts. And it's becoming a bigger and bigger thing as the years go on. The second thing is uh, they help to improve yourself physically and mentally. In fact, uh, video games are uh, scientifically proven. It's not just, uh, it, it's been proven over and over again that video games help you, your, uh, your, your hand-eye coordination and your perception of things. Imagine that, being able to sit down on your couch and get better at catching, uh, at playing sports because your hand-eye coordination is improving. And besides this, that it actually helps with uh, your, uh, your, decision making and uh, you're solving of complex problems. By solving problems in video games, it actually helps you at work with practical issues. In fact, Microsoft hires uh, video game players because of how well they're able to solve problems with just the little information they're presented. But the third thing is, is they, they foster a sense of community and they, they help with social skill development. In fact, uh, video games are used. Uh, video games can be used to help kids who are socially awkward or uh, who aren't very good at or very introverted, because it allows them to connect with people on a level that they're already on. And because they're already on that level, they're, they're comfortable with the people they're talking to. So it takes uh, super introverted kids, and I know I have I have friends like that personally. It takes super introverted kids who would otherwise uh, not talk uh, to anyone in, in the real, real life situations and eases them into that in something in a way that they already love. They have a way of making friends, they're a way to connect over. I, I've made friends playing video games that I like. In fact, one of my first days here at Urshan, uh, I, I've met someone and we have the same interest in video games and since, since then we've been friends. So video games aren't, as some media describes, as something bad that, that uh, is only there to tear down. In fact, video games are pretty much unanimously, unanimously proven to uh, help you socially. They're there to help you de-stress and have fun, and they can build relationships. Thank you.